good time. Uh, he's really, really funny, and he has his own television show. Uh, Pee Wee Herman. Uh, five seconds. He, um, he does this monologue. Oh, uh, Johnny Carson. Yes, okay, good, good, good. Okay, um, time's up. <laughs> but, what was the answer? Johnny Carson. So then why'd you give me that look? Because you only got one right. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're playing a game called Name That Name. Oh, everybody, this is my stepsister, Amanda. Hi. Hi. Um, um, this is my friend, Wes. This is my step sister, Erica. And these are some of her friends. Hi. Hi. So, do you guys mind if we play? Um, sure. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Okay, what are the rules? There are names written on these little pieces of paper, and you give your partner clues until he guesses what it is. All right. Sounds easy. <laughs> so how is this going to work anyway? I want to hear each note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tempo, tempo, tempo. Do not vary the tempo. What's the matter? I have a cramp in my wrist. And you're not holding the instrument properly. A violin is not a tennis racket. Now, once again, the etude, please. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The landmark Supreme Court decision of Fussy versus Ferguson, 1896, upheld the segregationist doctrine of separate but equal facilities for blacks and whites. This decision was overturned by... <laughs> Yes. Brown versus Board of Education, 1954. Correct. So you see that the law is not etched in stone. It is a living, evolving thing subject to ever-changing interpretation. That's all for today. Professor Kratzman? Yes? I'm Barbara Gibbons. Um, I, I was just wondering if you uh, might have a suggestion on how to direct my studies for the test. I don't understand the question. Oh, well, I meant, uh, will the test be based on the material in your lectures or uh, in the book? The test will be on everything, Miss Gibbons. You must know it all. There are no shortcuts. Can I ask you another question? Yes? When you called on me, did you think I would uh, know the material? Not particularly. Why? I've been teaching this course for a good number of years. I've seen more than a few housewives come through here. Some of them actually stick it out for a year or so, but most are unable to reconcile the workload with the responsibilities of motherhood. Well... I think that's just a little unfair. Uh, you sound like you're telling me to save myself a lot of trouble and just to drop out now. There are two types of students, Miss Gibbons. One type enters law school to prove to themselves that they can hack it. The other has real intentions of practicing law. What I am saying is that if you are the former and not the latter, then you are taking up a space better used by somebody else. Good day, Miss Gibbons. Jackson? 
develop the theory of relativity, Albert Einstein. <laughs> Played hockey, traded from the Edmonton Oilers to Los Angeles Kings, Wayne Gretzky. Uh, time's up. Time's up. <laughs> Good. How many did we get? Twelve. Twelve. We're getting good at this. What's the score? Um, you guys are ahead by 15. We're ahead by 15. <laughs> We're winning. Come on, studs. Come on, get it up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Six reps and 135. That's not too shabby, stud. Never are going to use my arms again. Yeah, and uh, all the womankind could rest a little easier. <laughs> hey, 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 Randy, good luck tonight. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, man. first round, buddy, huh? Yeah, we'll all see, right. we'll see. Uh, so what time will you know? Well, uh, the draft starts around 7. Uh, when and if I'm picked, I should know sometime before 10. <laughs> You're going to be playing pro football, man. Well, I said when and if. Right. You were all everything this year, like there's a doubt? Well... I was also the uh, smallest middle linebacker in the entire Pacific Conference. All right, all right. So, uh, how much weight do we have on here? 315. Oh, uh, you're right, dude. Who's gonna draft a wimp like you? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Hi, honey. When's dinner? Well, I just got home, sweetie. Not for a little bit. But I'm starving. Mom, can I talk to you about something? Did you get the turkey in? Yeah, 4.30. Honey, would you get those vegetables out of the crisper for me, please? And, Bart, I need you to wash the potatoes, all right? Mom, Mrs. Staley made me play with a cramp in my wrist. I could barely even hold the violin. Did you say anything to her? Yes, I told her I had a cramp in my wrist. And what did she say? Tampo, tampo, tampo. Do not bury the tampo. Ah, 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 ah. Put those down, not before dinner. Why don't you go play a video game while we get everything ready, huh? I'm sick of playing by myself. Mom, I think Mrs. Sailor likes it when it hurts. Well, she's always saying what a good student you are. I think she just wants you good and ready for your recital. Hi. Hi. We having dinner soon? Well, as soon as I can get it on the table. Good, because I gotta be somewhere by seven. Hi. Can you fit one more for dinner? This is my friend Wes. Oh. Sure, I think so. Hey. Do you wanna play video games with me? Um, I think we need to help mom set the table, okay? See, there'll be, uh, there'll be eight of us. So why don't we eat in the dining room? What a weirdo. Christy. Mom, where's Amanda? She's in the dining room with her friend. They're setting the table. So you met him? Mm-hmm. He's staying for dinner. What's wrong with him? He just stood there smiling like a dope. He's deaf. He's deaf? Deaf, D.B. Hi, gang. Hi. Why aren't we all whispering? Hi, Roger. Hi. Do you remember my friend Wes from summer camp? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> How are you? Fine. I haven't seen you in a long time. He just graduated from college. Good. He's been accepted to a graduate program in economics in Washington, D.C. All right, that's terrific. <laughs> He's been driving cross country. I told him that he could stay here. He hoped it doesn't inconvenience you. Oh, no, no, of course not. <laughs> Honey, that's okay with you, isn't it? Oh, oh, 
sure. <laughs> Barbara. I told Wes that he could probably stay in the pool house with you, if that's okay. Yeah. As long as he doesn't make too much noise. <laughs> Nerd. It's a joke. <laughs> Wait a minute. If he can't hear, then how did he get the joke? He understands a lot from reading lips. Oh. Am I talking too much? Wes says if he talks too much, turn the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Chick, Seattle gets there. Yeah. Joe Gonzalez just went to New Orleans. A quarterback from Louisiana. That, that's four quarterbacks in the first round. So now, how, how many first round uh, picks are there? There's 28. Nice. One left. Great, great, great. That's great, Jeff. You're going to be playing for Miami. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was the last pick? Dad. Well, looks like second round for me. It'll happen, son. Meaning, obscenity is not an utterance within the area of a protected speech and press. The unconditional phrasing of the First Amendment was not intended to protect every utterance, but rather was fashioned to assure exchange of ideas for the bringing about of political and social changes desired by the people. Barbara? Hmm. <laughs> Aren't you coming to bed? Uh, uh, well... What time is it? It's after ten. Oh no, well, I just I just want to work until until ten thirty. But it's Friday evening. You've got the whole weekend ahead of you. Oh, a whole lot more work than I anticipated, Roger. I've got a million cases to memorize. I need every minute. But you're exhausted. You'd do a lot better if you have a night's sleep. <laughs> yeah. And I know what would happen. I'd get into bed and I'd lie there for two hours doing constitutional law. I can't sleep here. <sighs> no. Maybe Dr. Kratzman's right. About what? Well, he suggested today that I drop out. He says housewives can't hack it. Ah, oh, he's full of malarkey. Law professors love to say stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, well... After the day I had today, maybe isn't so wrong. I was so tired after making dinner, I couldn't eat. Well, I offered to hire somebody. No, no, I, I don't want to do that. I, I want to be with the kids. <laughs> what are you going to do? Nobody can keep up the pace you're keeping. Well, I'm not a quitter, Roger. I mean, uh, gee, it's just, just with unexpected guests and seven, maybe eight mouths to feed. I, it, it gets a little overwhelming. Yeah. You know? Maybe I should ask Amanda to find some other place for a friend to stay. Oh, well, no. Let's see how it goes, huh? Okay. Well, it's been pretty wild and woolly here today. What do you think? Well, I think the wings are made out They could still call. I'd have to see it. Do you know how these things go? They're probably working up some kind of deal. You know, but this is tough, man. Hey, man, don't sweat it. You go out there and make any team in the league. But I was all conference. Uh, I'm no walk-on. I don't got to prove myself to nobody. What happened to the sound? Ah! I can't believe I never liked him until just now. Hmm. Change your mind. <laughs> Wes loves him, so I turned the sound off so that I could see it like he does. And I don't know, it's like all of a sudden I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing at this? This is stupid. <laughs> 
Mm. All right, all right, I'm going to bed. Say goodnight to Wes. Okay. Whoa, sorry. Excuse me. Oh, I was just saying goodnight. Good thing he uh, reads lips, huh? <laughs> cannot constitutionally prohibit the use of offensive words. Here, the defendant could not be punished for criticizing the draft, so the statute could be upheld, if at all, only as regulation of the manner, not the substantive content. No. No, I, I'm studying. It's a lecture. Uh, a lecture. Uh. Hi, guys. Hi. What's up? Well, I was just uh, getting some things out for dinner and uh, uh, explained to Wes how I use the tape recorder for studying, but I, I, I don't think I was making myself understood. Oh, um, let's see. Barbara uses the tape recorder to listen to her teacher's lectures. She has um, a lot of things to memorize in law school. Wes wants to know, does it work? Oh, well, <laughs> kind of. He wants to know if uh, he can teach you how he studies, if you like. And he wants to know if he can fix you dinner. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> he just needs to borrow your textbook and you go and relax and let him get dinner ready. Hey, my <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks. Hey, hey, man, how's it going? You hear anything else? Yeah, yeah I heard. I heard Minnesota thinks I'm too small to play pro ball. Ah, where'd you hear that? my agent, or should I say my former agent? What'd you do, fire him? Hey, what do I need an agent for? <laughs> I'm too small to need an agent. You been drinking? Just a beer. You sure? Yes, mother. You should take a little weight off. What are you lifting here? What's it to you? 345? Come on, you never lifted that much in your life. Come on, you can't do this. You're, you've been drinking, man. wrapping presents. I'm totally useless. Sure, yeah. Do you have uh, paper and ribbon and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> How does this? Do you think you have enough? Well, it usually takes me this much to get it right. Oh, whoa. <laughs> who, who is this for? For Wes. Um, some friends of his are throwing him a going away party. Oh. Well, are his, his friends deaf too? These guys are, but they're incredible. I think you should meet them. Uh, I don't know. I feel kind of strange. Why? I wouldn't know what to say. Well, you know what I mean. They understand most anything. Yeah, but I don't know sign language. Well, I'm not too great at it either. I just bluff my way through and Wes fills in the blanks. But how did you learn it all? My parents sent me to summer camp. And there is a program for the deaf there, and Wes is the cutest guy, so he taught me. 
So, were you guys ever... Boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> no. It never worked out. He was always going away to school and stuff. <laughs> but I think you should come. I think you'd have a great time. Really? Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> He wants to know if he can have a kiss, too. <laughs> I'm so sure. Matt, good. Why not? Uh, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Too bad. She had a boyfriend. I'm... <laughs> You look like a surfer girl. Is your boyfriend a surfer? No, he's a football player. <laughs> like surfers? Do I like surfers? Um, how do I say yes? Yes. Yeah. I they're laughing because he said he was a surfer, too. Oh, he's not a surfer. He's from Arizona. There's no waves in Arizona. <laughs> um, Amanda, can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you uncomfortable? I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to say something to offend them. Oh, don't worry about it. They like you. <laughs> I can't believe how sweet they are. <laughs> so, what do you think of Wes? Wes is great. I know. Um, he's so innocent and vulnerable. I really like America. I just want to take care of them. What are you going to do? I mean, he's leaving. I don't know what I'm going to do, Erica. I don't know what I'm going to do. We are going to memorize with our eyes. We're going to use our minds like a camera. Like, like a camera? Baki versus Regents. Baki versus Regents. Oh, that, that, uh, that's amazing. It is. I don't want to do it. Just make a picture in your mind. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey. Hello, Brewski. 
No, nah, it's gonna work out. Coming in? Uh, yeah, maybe. How many beers have you had, man? You know, you used to be a really cool guy. Why all of a sudden are you such a big pain in the butt? It's not the end of the world, Randy. Just because you didn't get drafted doesn't mean you still don't have a chance. I just don't want to see you blow it. Hey, are you finished preaching to me, stud? Do what you want, Randy. I'm gonna go work out. Later, stud. No, no, no. Softly, with the tip of the bow. What time is it? We still have 15 minutes to play. I'm tired of doing exercises. Can't you play my recital piece? Exercises are important. If you want to play the beautiful pieces, you must perfect your technique. But for how long? You're only a little girl. You have many years ahead if you want to play the violin beautifully. I want to hear you play. You're a presumptuous little girl. Are you going to play or not? No, I am not. And the lesson is over. You will wait for your mother. I think everyone around here is going to be sorry to see you go. Maybe I could come with you. Sorry about? No, to stay. But still have room here. But I have enough credits to graduate before the year is over. What's wrong? You don't want me to come with you? That uh, I want you to uh, visit. Visit, but not to stay? I'm out of that. Oh, it's very important. You mean? I know, but but I could get a job and I could take care of you. I didn't want you to take him. Wow, you try force me. I'm not trying to, to force you. If you don't want me to go with you, then that's your right, isn't it? You want to talk about this now or later? Now, I guess. Your mother pays me to teach you the violin. Not for you to teach me. I am tired of playing my exercises over and over and over. It's the only way to learn. Then maybe I should quit. Now, Christy, be sure you don't want to think about this. You put an awful lot of time in. You are one of my best students, if you would try. I am tired of trying. I want to spend my Sundays like everyone else I know. This is not an attitude I can work with. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. About it? I 
I love him. And I told him that I wanted to go away to school with him, and he said no. <laughs> hey, come on. I thought he cared about me. I know he does. Then why doesn't he want me to go with him? Well, hey, Amanda, you're only 17. I mean, what makes you think Roger let you go anyway? I don't care. I would have gone. <laughs> yeah, you would have. I would. Well, have you stopped to think about how Wes might be feeling about this? I think he's made that pretty apparent how he feels. No, I mean, this guy's, what, 22 years old? He's got his whole life ahead of him. He's going to the school. That's obviously really important to him. Obviously. So no one's feelings here matter but yours. Is that it? I really care about him. And I don't want him to go. I don't want him. He went out what do I have? I O R. H O R. I O R. H O R. Ah, yeah. I O R. H-O-R-S? Right. Right. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Have you seen Amanda? Amanda? No. I'm trying. Have you seen Amanda? No. Oh, what? No. I quit. Where? Why? I don't know. I, I was just tired. Tired? Yeah. I don't want to play anymore. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Yeah. Because you played so beautifully? How do you know you can't even hear? I can feel the music. I can hear it in my head. I wish I could play what I hear in my head. Do you want to play? I want you to play. I want to hear you play. But you can't hear. Please. Labor laws, the advertisement of pharmaceutical prices, 
In fact, we see that the constitutionality of everything has been called in question at one time or another. Another example. Prayer in school. Very good. The case? Uh, school district versus Shemp, 1963. The ruling? Uh, mandatory school prayer is unconstitutional. Of course. But why? Uh, well, uh... Yes, Ms. Gibbons. If legislative action either advances or inhibits religion, it violates either the free exercise clause or the establishment clause of the Constitution. Now, school prayer seeks to advance religion and is therefore an impermissible goal. Precisely correct, Ms. Gibbons. You can answer the door, you know. Hey, I'm talking to you. Hey. What, are you ripping this stuff off? Is that it? What, are you stupid? Huh? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey. What, what do you think you're doing, man? What do you think you're doing? Hey, come on. Show me what a big man you are. Back off this dude ripping you off. This guy's staying with me. Well, then why did he say so? Because he's deaf, jerk. Yeah. He doesn't go drinking himself blind every night over it, though. Hey, man. Uh, hey, man. What? Pathetic. Look, I... I didn't know he was deaf. All right, well... What are you doing here, anyway? I wrapped my car around a telephone pole, all right? All because they thought you were too small to play pro football? Man, they don't know how small you really are. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? I'm, I'm really sorry. He leaving? I thought he had a few more days. Yeah. It's like the uh, romance at the skids. What is he leaving? Yeah. Why didn't you try to find a man? Yeah. Is he leaving already? Yeah. You're very welcome. Any time. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hope you friend, okay? <laughs> he will be. Thank you for everything. No, thank you. Amanda won't come out. She says she can't say goodbye. Wes, Amanda's not coming. I'm sorry. I bet the, the house is going to seem quieter with Wes gone. My books. What? My books. I left my books in the back of his car.
very nice. Would you like to play the recital piece? May I? We might as well make it perfect. Your recital is in two days. How many reps, Dad? Ten, 135. You're getting there. How you been? I've been good. I uh, talked to my agent again. I'm gonna try to work something out with Buffalo. Maybe a special tryout or something. And if that didn't work out, they're looking for an assistant coach down at the high school. Great, man, that's great. I'm uh, really happy for you. Hey. <clears throat> You're uh, getting some definition there. <laughs> yeah, think so? Yeah, definitely. Look, I, I just wanted to say thanks. Okay. Okay. May I speak with you? We are 20 minutes into the test, Miss Gibbons. I, I, I know. I, uh, I debated about coming here at all. Are you dropping the course? Oh, well, no. I, I, I just wanted to ask. Well, you see, I, I had an unfortunate incident. I, I lost all my notes, Professor Kratzman. Oh, how did that happen? Well, you see, I have a house guest. Hi. Oh, well, excuse me, please. Um, West through Rod in Phoenix, and he took the bus all the way back. <coughs> oh. And it's, it, it stayed on all that way. You came all the way back here just to bring me my books. No. I came back to say goodbye. Miss Gibbons, we are taking an examination. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. If you would like to make up the test, I will be in my office at the end of class. Oh, thank you, Professor Kratzman. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for taking us to the airport. Sure. Sure you don't want to come? I hate seeing people off at the airport.
name of laughter, tears, fun, and excitement. In the name of comedy, it's Ann Gillian next. Then things are robbing, rocking, rolling on an all-new Sister Kate with special guest Millie Vanilli tonight. <laughs>